In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this simple model of a pawn chess piece. Click the plus to open up the properties panel. Scroll down. Tick background images. Click the black triangle to open up the panel. Click add image. Scroll down. Click open. Go to the folder where you have the image of the chess piece, select it, open image. To see the background image, change the view from perspective to orthographic, change the view to the front view. Scroll down, drag to make the properties panel wider. Drag on the size field to make the background image smaller. Set the value to 2. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. Press X to delete the cube. Add Mesh Cylinder. Click the Object Properties button. Set the Z scale of the cylinder to 0.1 enter. Drag on the Y field to move the background image up and down. Set the value to 0.94 and enter. Set shading to wireframe so we can see through the cylinder. Drag to close the properties panel. Drag on the white diagonal lines in the top right hand corner to open up a new window. Drag to close the tool shelf in the new window. Hold down the middle mouse button and drag to scroll the menu bar and set the shading in the new window to solid. Go from object mode to edit mode. Hold down the middle mouse button and drag until you see these three buttons click the face select button. With the cursor above the cylinder, hold down the middle mouse button and drag to rotate the view and select the top face. Zoom in with the mouse wheel. Press E to extrude and move the extrusion up to the groove in the chest piece. Press S to scale and shrink the top face down till it matches the background image. Press E to extrude. Use the mouse to move the extrusion up till it is in line with the point. I'm going to deliberately misalign. Click, press S to scale. You can always use the tip of the blue arrow to fine tune the position of the top face and you can always press S to scale to line up with the background image. I'm going to do three extrusions to cover the next section. I notice there's a fairly long straight bit in the middle so I'll make that the biggest extrusion. Press E to extrude. Use the mouse to move the extrusion up. Press S to scale match the background image, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale. To pan down, hold down shift and use the mouse wheel. Do that in both windows. Press E to extrude and S to scale. Press E to extrude and S to scale. I'm going to do the next section in four extrudes. Press E to extrude, S to scale. Press E to extrude, S to scale. It's slightly curvier at the bottom. 
press E to extrude, S to scale, press E to extrude, S to scale, and for the final part, press E to extrude, press S to scale, Pan down, shift and mouse wheel, use the tip of the blue arrow to fine tune the position. Press E to extrude. Press S to scale. Press E to extrude. Press S to scale. Pan down, shift and mouse wheel. Now we could finish the model continuing with the same method, but as the top of the pawn is spherical, we may as well add a sphere. Before we add the sphere, make sure the insertion cursor is at the center in the mesh menu, snap, cursor to center. Add UV sphere. Now in the bottom left hand corner you see the settings for the most recent command. I'm going to reduce the number of segments to 24 and the number of rings to 12. Carefully use the tip of the blue arrow to move the sphere up. Press S to scale and make the sphere a more manageable size but still bigger than the background image. Use the tip of the blue arrow to fine tune the center of the sphere. Press S to scale to fine tune the scale until the sphere matches the background image. Drag on the white diagonal lines to close the window. Zoom back with the mouse wheel and pan shift and mouse wheel. Change the shading to solid. Go into object mode. Change the shading to smooth. In the object menu, transform origin to center of mass. In the view menu, toggle from orthographic to perspective. Give the model a more meaningful name and we still have Z scale 0.1 to reset that in the object menu apply scale that's the end of the tutorial I put the image file and the finished model for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the blender channel there thanks for watching and goodbye